Hey guys, Rune Videos Dude here, and I'm coming at you guys with a uh, another gameplay of me versus a, another online player. Um, so I'm spawning in the bottom right hand corner as the Blue Terran, and my opponent, uh, Satchmo, I think it's pronounced, is spawning in the uh, bottom left hand corner as the Red Terran. So it is a TVT uh, match. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Alright, so, basically I'm just getting a, a supply depot right here at 8. Um, just keep spamming all my F uh, SCVs to uh, get a little something going. Get something going. Um, the guy just doesn't understand my lingo that I'm getting on to him. Um, just ask, how you doing? Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> um... But yeah, so we're basically doing the same thing. Um, I love this production tab, honestly. Um, I don't know, I just find it fun to use and whatnot. Um, so I've been using this cool new thing. Uh, obviously, all the pro players, and most of you already know it, but uh, you just shift and then uh, right-click uh, one of your SCVs or anything else that you're, uh, <laughs> that you're using, like a drone or a probe or whatever. Um, you can just shift-click... Um, you can keep like just uh, building supply depots, and then after you've done that, you can shift click um, onto like your mineral patch. That way, you don't have to left click on them, then right click to your mineral mineral patch again, and all that. Um, so this guy is kind of new to the game, as you can see the dialogue right there. If you weren't paying attention, he basically said he just got it at New Year's. Um, so we're both getting our barracks out right now. He's training three marines. It looks like I'm still working on my barracks. But um, considering he was a bit noobish in this video, um, I was able to beat him uh, to most of my marines. What I got. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just trying to wall off with a uh, barracks supply depot and another barracks so that's two racks right there um, this is what I see mostly on YouTube or any other professional game or whatever um, of them just walling off when you're a Terran just doing a racks then a supply depot and then another racks right there um, so coming over here he already has two marines um, I guess he could start working on the rocks if he wants um, yeah if we go into um, We'll go into our resources right now. He's ahead of me. Uh, yeah, he's he's ahead of me, but I'm spending it on these two racks and uh, three more supply depots that I or two more supply depots that I queued up. I'm also getting uh, engineer in bay, so that's pretty good. Um, I have higher gas than him because um, I've been uh, spawning some more SCVs going to my refinery. So we'll go back over to him. He has his uh, four marines. It looks like. Go back into this production tab. Um, See, so he, he's building another supply depot. Same, uh, same for me. Um, in the beginning, it's kind of slow. So I'm just gonna speed it up a tiny little bit. Um, so now he's gonna reactor on his things. Uh, I'll stop it right here because this is where production actually starts getting into. Uh, place so I'm gonna react there same same with him uh, we're about the same with that he has uh, another racks on his way I have my refinery uh, looks like one more SCV uh, a marauder and he also has his factory on the way so as you can see he's definitely ahead of me with all the structures that he's uh, producing which is pretty good um, he just has to make the right play and push out a little bit I don't know why he was coming over here, I guess, to go to the Cell Naga Tower just to uh, regroup with people and then spot anything else in case I was trying to rush around come uh, through the back or even if I was trying to grab the gold expansion. Um, so I start sending both my racks to the so, uh, destructible rocks and I'm just going to work on those right now, uh, getting ready for a push. Engineering Bay, not really researching anything right now at the moment. Uh, he has combat shield coming in. Um, I have two more marines, a supply depot, um, and what is that? Engineering Bay. Oh, he has his engineering bay. Alright, now, uh, 
I keep forgetting to <laughs> what color is what. I, I always have a tendency to do that. Um, I'm starting to feel a little better, I guess. It's been like two days or something. Um, so hopefully this commentary is a little more lively than the other one. Uh, no coughing or anything so far. I took my medicine and whatnot. But that's not important. So I'm getting my command center out right now. Um, cause I love scanning people, it just pisses them off so much. As you can see, I'm getting my factory up right now, even though he already has one. He's also getting a starport, two more marines, and his missile turrets. Um, and another reactor on, let's see what it is. He's getting his other reactor on his other, uh, on his, uh, second racks. So, he still hasn't started on these rocks yet, which he should be, considering he's way ahead of me with everything, um into the spending tab you can see that we're pretty much tied off with just about everything I have a little more technology although he has a bigger army size than me so far um, so that's pretty cool I have my yeah um, we'll go back into here uh, you can see I'm getting my missile turrets up my concussive sh uh, shells which are pretty good um, because it upgrades the marauder weapons to slow down opponents which is pretty good in case uh, zerglings but that's not the case here considering it is a tvt um... so he still has a starport i'm getting my first hellion out thanks to my factory now and um... still working on these infantry wep uh, weapons level one and the armor uh... level one both for in infantry um... so i just used the scan on him um, he didn't say anything or react, although it does piss people off. Um, I know it's pissed me off a couple times when I was uh, playing Zerg or just like trying to get a six pool going, and people were able to stop it right away. Um, so, yeah, I don't always like that. So, as you can see, I'm just building turrets right here. Um, I can never really trust people because I always ask them before the game, are you good, are you good? Um, it's kind of noobish of me, I know, but I still do it anyway. And um, most of them hustle me if they say, oh, yeah, no, I suck, dude, don't worry. And then they'll come up with this, like, amazing battle cruiser rush strategy or whatever. And, I mean, I, I know how to at least get out some... Uh, <laughs> battle cruisers myself pretty fast but it's just ridiculous what these people do so uh, right now I'm getting my research uh, siege tank and my pre igniter um, gives like 10 damage uh, versus light units uh, for the hellions so that's pretty cool um, the rocks are down right here go back to him he has uh, two vikings it looks like um, his reactors are all working hard I guess okay so he has the tech lab although he didn't really research anything yet. Um, I don't think he will. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back into here. Still no pushing. Um, if you don't know, we're, we're still in the practice league right now, so it is kind of noobish. Um, <laughs> by now, people either would have won games or at least pushed on other people. Um, so that was pretty much what was going through my head. Um, so I think I'm about to make a push soon. Um, all I know is I make it about when he pulls his units uh, right around the rocks, about like right here. Um, so let's see, he's getting his cloaking field on right now. Four more marines, another banshee, and as you can see, I'm a lot higher with all my production. I'm getting another. I'm getting an armory up, supply depot, my starport, marauders, um, marines. Let's see, the siege tank just finished um, researching because now I'm onto my pre igniter. Um, it's always good to stay on top of your things like that so hellion is just strangling right here stuck in between the rocks looking like an idiot um but i'm getting the rest of my army size here um so we're gonna take down these banshees or they're just retreating right now um gotta start working on the rocks you can't just leave them there right now um so he's calling in an army of uh, Vikings, Marines, and uh, Banshee, he he lowers the uh, Vikings down into their ground uh, mode. I guess to try to take out some of my ground units. Um, so right now I'm calling in some uh, reinforcements of it looks like 
two more marines and a marauder uh four more marines and a uh, marauder sorry about that um and the combat shields really help i gotta say because they actually stand in this battle quite a long time uh this banshee is about to get taken out these vikings are holding strong though so he made a good move going into that but i did just hurt his forces a bit um considering he wasn't producing as many units as he should have been four more marines right here that he could use right now um so right now i thought he was coming to get me because i saw the vikings coming this way uh it was only in my perspective of course but right now we're in the everyone perspective he's building a supply depot i guess to try to wall me off um but yeah i'm just trying to build my forces uh my forces the forces oh my god um defenses and I set them behind my supply depot with it up, getting out Vikings. That's when I rushed with the starport and everything because I realized he was already ahead of me with starports. Um, and that was also thanks to all the scans I was doing with my orbital command. Um, so, just getting out some marines, marauders right now. Um, producing two more marines, it looks like. I have my, my first Thor out. Um, still didn't research the, uh, strike cannons, the 250mm strike cannons, uh, which actually do a lot of damage, um, to the enemy, so that's always good. Uh, I got a siege tank coming, and two more hellions on the way. Uh, one more viking, it looks like. I already have a total of two vikings, um, that's about it for the air unit so far. It, it's a good idea to build these turrets right away, because, uh, as you can see, he, he rushed with that starport, and uh, if he were to come at me with that, then the turrets could have done some damage, or at least alerted me. Um, so I popped the siege tank into siege mode, which is uh, pretty good. Um, getting my two, two hellions right here. Um, I could have pushed. Might not have been so good considering he had the turrets so he could have taken out my vikings uh... he has a medevac coming in right now um... so now he's actually starting to research um... or no that's me actually never mind <laughs> Alright, um, let's see, so, nothing really fancy going on right now, I'm just building up my army, I'm finally going for the push, um, I'm trying to end it right here and now, uh, it's just taking way too long for him to make a move, and he realizes that I'm going to be the one attacking, so I pop a scan near his army, see the army size, and realize, yes, I can take this, so, I don't like grouping around where they can spot me, so I usually group around a mineral patch somewhere outside of their base. Um, I wouldn't really call it their natural, considering this is their natural, just right up this ramp. Um, but now I am going, I'm taking out the supply depot, I realize, uh, I realize that it's not really walling me off too much, considering those marines got passed. I'm taking out these uh, vikings, as you can see the marines are coming in trying to get me, uh, the Thor is just helping out a ton, um, so I have these two 50 millimeter cannons up, um, I forget to use them at first, and now I'm finally starting to use them on the supply depot, I just want to take out some of his forces to get, uh, the rest of my troops in, um, so I lost a decent amount of troops right now, but the Thor is definitely helping out, um, with all these air units, it's pre he's pretty much an anti-air unit. He already has 11 kills, which is amazing. Uh, Helene only only has two. This guy only has zero. So, uh, but yeah, the Thor definitely helps out, takes out a lot of people very quickly. Um, so these cannons are coming back. Um, I was just a little worried if uh, whether or not he was gonna come and. Um, up with push so he popped a scan on me there I know I was a little delayed uh, with announcing that but I'm trying to keep on top of everything that's going on right now just taking out his his racks right now um, that's gonna go down before he gets everything he leaves the game no GG 
Um, and that's about it. So, just a little recap. If he had pushed a little sooner with his uh, Vikings and a few more Marines and Marauders that he could have built up, he could have uh, just came. I already had my rocks destroyed. He would have just had to take out this supply depot. Could have rushed in here. I wouldn't have had my siege tanks uh, ready at all, considering how fast he got everything out. Um, it's just all about quick gameplay and keeping your uh, opponent on their toes, which I obviously had him um, with the two waves of units that I pushed on him. Um, so yeah, if he was just able to push, make a little push and uh, spook me off a little, he probably could have got past my defenses and won because even though the, rac the uh, reactors are able to build two at once, it's still not enough if he comes storming in with uh, Vikings that could also go into ground units. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And remember, the random videos, dude.